In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an autogram for your podcast episodes, which will also include captions and a nice waveform. The platform that I'll be using to create this autogram is called Wave. And if you've never heard of this platform before, don't worry, because I'm going to share the link to it in the description box below. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Samantha. I'm a podcast manager and online entrepreneur. And like I said, in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make an autogram for your podcast episodes. These autograms are super fun pieces of content that you can share on your social media to tease your audience and encourage them to tune into your episodes. So now let's jump into my computer to show you how to make your audiogram. Okay, so here we are in the Wave website. And the first thing that I want to show you is the pricing tab here. Just so you know, um, for today's video, I'm going to be using the creator account, which is $12.99 USD per month. That gives me 30 minutes of Wave videos created per month. If you want to start with the free version, that's okay. Just keep in mind that all of your designs, all of your videos are going to uh, be downloaded with the Wave branding. So if you want to avoid that, I highly, highly recommend that you start with the creator plan. Um, but if not, like I said, this is free and uh, it's pretty easy to use. You pretty much have the same features except that, well, you can uh, read through all of these here. And then if you need something more sophisticated or if you need to upgrade because you need more time, you can always move up to the next tier, which is the influencer or agency or network. And that comes with a lot more minutes. Uh, for me, 30 minutes is enough because that's what I use with my clients. But okay, now let's log into the account because I want to show you how to create your audiogram from scratch. And here I am in the first page that you're going to see when you log into your account. So what we want to do is go to where it says create a new video. And then you have different options here. You can upload your file, which is what I'm going to do in just a second. You can record if you don't have anything that you want to use for your video. You can also go to your library in case you've uploaded audios before. But obviously, if this is your first time using Wave, you won't have anything in your library. You can also upload from your RSS or from your wave link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my audio file that I have saved to my computer. Click here where it says upload file. And once you've selected your audio file, it's going to start loading. Once you're done with that, what you have to do is just hit here where it says confirm audio. And we're gonna start working on a new design. So I'm gonna click here where it says new design. And here you can start with a template, you can start from scratch, and then they have this new feature that's coming soon. So I'm going to focus on creating a new design from scratch, which I've already created using Canva. If you've never used Canva before, don't worry, I'm going to share the link down below in the description box so you can go straight to Canva and design your graphic before coming to Wave. So I'm going to hit here where it says start from scratch. And then here we have different options. You can have a horizontal design, you have a square, you can have something vertical. Um, for your reels or for TikTok, for instance, and you have other options here. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use a square design. And once you're here, all you have to do is select your image, upload it. And here I have the graphic that I created in Canva. Now I'm going to go back because what I want to do now is select a waveform. And here we have all these different waveforms and the colors. So the first thing that I'm going to choose is my color. I want the waveform to be black. So just hit black, confirm. And see, we have all these waveforms here that I can just adapt. You know, I can modify it to fit my graphic. Um, we have this one, which is a really nice one. Um, but what I want to do is, I think I'm gonna use this one here. Yes, this is what I'm going to do. This is the one I'm going to be using and I'm just going to leave some room here for the captions because remember, I'm going to be showing you how to add captions to this graphic as well. So once I'm done choosing my waveform, all I have to do is click save. You can name your design or you can just leave it as is because we're going to have another opportunity to give it a name. So I'm just going to leave it like that and click done. And here we go. This is my new design. I'm going to select it one more time. And here it'll give us a preview of what it's going to look like. If you're happy with this, you just have to confirm it one more time. And now it'll bring us to this page where you'll find the audio file that you previously uploaded at the very beginning. So what you can do here is you can 
choose a clip from this audio file or if you uploaded what you want to show in your graphic then there's nothing else that you need to do all you have to do is generate the video and that's it in my case that's what i'm gonna do but like i said if you uploaded like an entire episode and just want to you know choose one part of your episode like 30 seconds or maybe up to a minute you can do that here in my case like i said i'm just going to generate my video because i uploaded what i want to show in my graphic so i'll just generate it now and it'll take a few seconds now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a title here so mine is going to be audiogram episode 65 and then to add captions i'm going to go here where it says add captions then we're going to create a transcript it'll take a couple of seconds before it creates your transcript okay and as you can see here we have our transcript my audio file was really short it was only a 19 second audio file which is why this is so short but obviously if your audiogram is longer this is going to be much longer you have a lot more text so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to uh, the style of my captions here and i'm going to create a new style for this so here i can just select a name for my style and then we can play around with the fonts as you can see you have a lot of options here to work with the fonts i'm going to choose this one for now then the size of your text you can choose uh, between bold or italic style you can also play around with the colors the layouts if you want this to be centered or aligned to the left or the right in my case i'm just going to leave it in the center you can play around with the padding so i'm going to go back to edit captions because i want to see what it looks like okay as you can see this is right down at the bottom i don't want that so i'm just going to go back and position it here then what i want to do is go back to the color um, i don't want no background here so i'm just going to do that and then i probably want to change the color of my text i want it to be black and i want it to be a little bit bigger so let's just go yeah that looks better okay go back to edit captions and you can also play around with the breaks here so let's play this one more time okay that looks good so not all the time this is going to be perfect sometimes you'll have to check before you render the video because sometimes it doesn't transcribe uh, exactly what you said so i'm just going to fix this real quick and then just keep going okay so once you're done once you are convinced with what you chose you know as far as your fonts and your text and everything once everything looks in order all you have to do is go here where it says create video and it's now saving it then all you have to do is go here where it says more and you have the option to either delete it archive it download it download it without captions or edit your captions my case i'm happy with it so i'm just going to go ahead and download it so here we are and now that i've downloaded it you can see that we can have a nice nice graphic with a nice white form and captions i'm going to play it for you so you see what it looks like hello everyone and welcome to the best podcast in the world this is just a task for the video that i am recording today Okay, friends, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at SE Podcast Management for more podcasting tips. Also, don't forget the link to Wave is right below in the description box. Okay, that's it. See you in the next video.